Hey everybody, it's Bryant, and welcome to the 10th Qt tutorial on C++. Today we're going to be covering splitters. So let's just go File, New Project, Qt GUI, and let's say Splitter01, put it in the usual location, and we'll say eTest, or wherever you put your stuff. And we're going to say Q dialog. I'm kind of going through this really quickly. You should be a master of making these projects by now. All right. If you've never worked with a splitter, you have no idea what one is. Um, move your mouse over by the toolbar or over by the property bar, and you see the icon change. I don't know if the video is picking that up, but you can click and then you can resize. That's a splitter. We're going to make one of those. So let's just, for the sake of argument here, throw out two buttons. Normally you don't split buttons, but I figure they'll be nice and visible for the video and be pretty easy to understand. Let's just run this. I want you to see what it looks like without a splitter. Let's see, two buttons. Now, to make a splitter, you select those controls. And you notice how these icons suddenly, magically are enabled. Layout horizontal and splitter and layout vertical and splitter. So just click the horizontal and splitter. And you can select the dialog and then choose the layout horizontally. That way they're full size and you can get a real graphical representation of what this is going to look like. Run it and suddenly we have a splitter. Now let's resize this window a little bigger so you can see. Now you notice how it stops at a certain point? That's the size policy of that widget. You know, so it does it over here too. Now, like I said, normally you wouldn't use buttons with splitters. You would use a like a tree view or a list view, but we haven't really gotten into those yet. But you understand what a button is. So I thought I'd show you. Let's go ahead and close that. Right-click the form, and you can go to break layout, or you could have done it up there, I guess. And if at any time you're having a hard time clicking, like you're trying to click that little layout in there. You can always do it over here in the Explorer. You can see how, let me actually use that splitter and drag this out. You can see how you have the dialog with the splitter. Well, you can right click any of these and you get the same menu. So if you're having trouble selecting one, you can just do that. Layout, break layout, and it just puts them right back on the form. Very simple, easy trick to learn. And you can grab these and split them vertically. And let's just say that for the layout. Same deal, just wanted to show you. Let's uh, compile and run. And there's our splitter. Now, if you notice how if you go up too much, it disappears, but you can always grab it and pull it back down. So, kind of a short video, but I wanted to show you. Uh, splitters are very useful and very easy to build. Um, I suggest you use them in your programs to make it easier on your users. Uh, you got any questions, comments, concerns, drop me a line. This is Brian. Thanks for watching. I find, hope you found this video educational and entertaining.